There we go. Looking good. All right, squad's ready. Let's hit it. They traveled in their trusty wagon. The standard, the fantasy, the invisible, the fast, the glitch, the wild, the coal-fired, the diseased. There's a lot of wagons, dude. Except for us, we only get the first one because we're noobs. They set off into the forest. Done. Oh, baby, yep. Immediately right back into it. Seeing some animals in an upcoming clearing, they, they hurried ahead. They needed some food for the long journey. All right, we got to take out as many animals as possible and harvest their meat for the long road ahead. Ooh, a gun upgrade. They saw a unicorn in the clearing. The unicorn seemed to be leading them somewhere. On the other hand, they needed all the meat they could get. We have to follow the unicorn. They follow the unicorn into a magical field. I'm going to move my face real quick so you guys can actually read what's happening on the screen, too. Oh, my God. Ah, they explode. Oh, wait, no, that's our weapon. That's right. We have a new weapon that blows things up. Only got four more of them, though, so I got to be careful with my usage of Jesus. Taking some hits early on. Careful. This is an enormous unicorn field. Then a dragon attacked. What the hell? This has escalated very quickly. Oh my god. Okay. Well, we got our normal gun back now. Keep those pellets coming. You unlocked the fan? Wow, that was an early unlock. Nice. Black Carol left the wagon to look for wild berries. He was very successful. On his way back to the wagon, Black Carol noticed an entrance to a cave and decided to investigate. It was very dark. It sure was. Upon lighting a torch, he found it was filled with giant bats. Oh, shit. That's right. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Xmas J. 43 months on the pile. Bear hugs, please, for him. Welcome back in. Appreciate it. Nice. Found a way back from the cave, uh, to the wagon from the cave. Reached a river crossing. Reaper Roger had the brilliant idea to try to jump over the river. Alternatively, they could ford it. Let's listen to Roger. They got a running start and leapt from the top of a ledge. <laughs> they only made it halfway across the river and landed in the middle of some rapids. Ah, shit. Oh, God. That was instant. I gotta be ready for these things to start off very quickly. Oh, I think I need to get across. Ah. Something, something, boulders. I got it. Finally, they reached the other side of the river. You son of a bitch. Stupid boulders. They entered into the Great Plains. Oh, yeah. I love this game, man. Time has got influenza. Ow. Oh. That's not good. They came across a large herd of buffalo. That's good. Potentially dangerous. Oh, shit. Missed the gun. Not that one, though. Holy shit. Yep, that... Uh, <laughs> it's not going to leave any meat behind, unfortunately. Yeah. Buffalo, 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 buffalo. Oh, God. All right. Yeah, this is where we become very concerned with the available space. HP, we got to get it. Nice. There we go. There we go. There we go. Feeling much better. We got a lot of meat all of a sudden. That feels really good. You want a gun? Nice. Ooh, this is huge. Gotta get all this. I did take a couple hits again, though. Some angry buffalo charged the wagon. Oh, shit. All right. Well, we got three more of these. Which are an excellent... Way to deal with oh, the Black Carol was gored by a bison and died. Shit. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we might just be... We might be doomed. Time has recovered from influenza. Yay. Wow. Oh, God. He's fine now. Fur trader. Oh, that's extremely convenient. The fur trader offered them supplies in exchange for animal hides. Right. I just realized I need to swap my category, too. Thank you. And then... Boom. There we go. 
Uh, let's get a gun. And some HP. Hell yeah. They noticed an injured falcon to the side of the trail. An animal lover, Tymus decided to help. Coyotes wanted to eat the injured falcon. Oh my god. This gun is really good. Sheesh. Full HP, too? And meat? Wow. That's awesome. Thing paid for itself. After recovering from its injuries, the Falcon was a useful hunting partner. Oh, hell yes. What? That's so good. That's a huge upgrade. Hell yeah, dude. I love this thing. Impressed by the abilities, they decided to carry the Falcon with them. Unlocked another freaking coach. The front wheels of the wagon fell off and the wagon was stuck. It is hilarious to me I'm realizing now that we're just playing another stagecoach game. Reaper Roger left the wagon to fetch wheels and the first wheel rode, rolled into a herd of buffalo. Oh, shit. I was not ready for that. Now I am. The second wheel rolled into a haunted burial site. Ugh. That, I can just snag it like that? Oh my god, I love it. They reached another river and this one was too deep to ford. Reaper Roger had the brilliant idea to swim underwater through the river. Alternatively, they could go around it through a desert path. Gotta swim, dude. They took a deep breath and jumped in. Perfectly reasonable. They faced deadly piranhas. Oh, I have a bow and arrow now, apparently. Whoa! That's pretty good. Holy shit. Okay. Thank you. Oh, and there's our falcon back, which is probably better than the bow and arrow, actually. Angry narwhals. Yeah, this thing is actually nutty. It gets the narwhals, too? That's ridiculous. This is way worse. Oh, never mind. That's homing? Holy shit. Let's try this one, though. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. The oxen got freaked out and swam too fast. We're just obliterating things now. Okay. That's probably fine. Oh, we got the falcon back. There we go. Oh, they can get us from behind, I think. They're a little slower. Yeah, they fall away eventually. Okay. I can't believe he just gets the narwhal. That is really funny. You unlocked fighting fish survival mode. Cool. A giant squid blocked their path. It's dead. <laughs> Roger noticed a treasure chest in the water and swam to investigate. He felt that there had to be something super amazing inside, but he was hesitant and wasn't sure if he should open it. Yeah, open the chest. A hot air gun. That seems terrible. They continued on. Oh, no. I ruined the run. I replaced my, my falcon with a hot air gun. That's unfortunate. I really like the Falcon. I mean, this still seems okay. Weirdly. Obviously not as good. Yeah, this is clearly a downgrade, actually. Oh, well. Ooh. Hang on to that for a sec. A pack of wolves smelled the blood. Oh! Whoa! Okay. Gotta be ready. At least everything's cooked. Yeah, good point. Well done, meat. In, in hefty supply here. As the wolf ate him, Timus thought about the dog he left back east. He wondered what happened to old Caesar. Rip Timus. Oh no. Oh god, this is unlike the piranhas. Yep. You unlocked Howlin' Good Time by getting eaten by a wolf. Reaper Roger came across a fur trader. Good timing yet again. After a faster wagon wheel for 103 animal hides. Yes, please. New and improved wagon wheels. I can move around more quickly. Nice. The mountain pass was cold, so at night Reaper Roger drank to stay warm. Inebriated, Reaper Roger left the wagon by himself. Unfortunately, the drunken stumbling all attracted the attention of some beasts. 
it would be appropriate to die getting eaten by bears. But I guess that's not as... Oh, this is a bandit camp. Never mind. There we go. Ran away drunkenly with bandits chasing behind him. He, might, he made it back to the wagon, but the effects of the alcohol made it hard to steer. Drunk wagon time. All right. Dan Fian. Thank you for the 55. Welcome back in. Appreciate it. Bear hugs, please. This gun is certainly good to have here. Oh, wow. That would have been way better. This is doing just fine, though. Roger felt awful and accidentally drove off a cliff. Oh, no. The wagon passed through a flock of crows. Holy shit. I'm ready. I'm ready. Stay in the middle. Stick and move. Oh, shit. We're good. We're good. This is a long sequence. Maybe I'm supposed to, like, kill the crows. Luckily, the wagon landed in a river. The wagon, now a raft, was carried down river by the currents. How convenient. Roger had to avoid boulders as his wabin, wa wabin navigated rapids. Oh, fuck. All right. Well, this might be it. This might be my time. Oh, God. I don't feel good about this. Come on. There we go. Nice. Keep on shooting. This some, uh, for some reason, there were a bunch of alligators in the river. I ain't going to question it. One of the least weird things that's happened so far, to be honest. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm doomed. Holy shit. Reaper Roger was knocked into the river by a collision with a boulder, panicked, inhaled water, and drowned. Their journey ended. They're with the alligators. That was a good try. Pretty solid first go. Let's go adventure again. Let's get a brand new team. I was pretty close to winning that. New squad. Who's coming this time? Do, 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 do. Gear a link, hop on board. Give me your pronoun of choice. Or your option between the two, I guess. Jaden Titahe, I want to say, joins the team today as well. Oh, come on in. An irritating boy TV. Not seeing anything from Gira. I'm going to make an assumption here. We've got Jaden. There we go. You got your pronoun. Jordan? Or gentleman or lady? Doo, doo, doo. We've got our both here. Okay, either? Cool. Let's add a lady into the mix. With green hair. And then irritating boy tie. Irritating tie. How about that? A fine gentleman. Again, 2014, Vander. I offer them the benefit of the doubt. All right, let's do it. We travel to their trusty wagon. Let's try the fantasy this time. That sounds like fun. Let's see how this goes. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember now. This weird freaking gun. That actually does not leave meat behind. Ooh, okay. That's, uh... That's not great. The weapon is obviously a little bit better, but... No, actually, I don't know if it is. Yeah, it, it, it's real bad. Real bad one here. A posse of bandits interrupted the hunt. I need for those HP boxes early on here. Yeah, we're gonna need to, uh... We're gonna need to find a different weapon here soon. There it is. Which is, unfortunately, not a great one either. 
Machine gun armed bandit wagon arrived. Owie. Oh boy. All right, yeah, this is a this is a rough start. Let's get that going. There we go. Oh, missed the HP. You should. Jodan left the wagon to look for wild berries, which we're clearly gonna need. On our way back to the wagon, Jodan noticed an entrance to a cave. Can't turn that down. Same here, Lorid. Yeah. Upon lighting a torch, she found it was filled with guns and ammunition. Oh, wow, cool. That's super convenient. They reached a river crossing. All right, let's 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 try fording it this time. Be a little more reasonable. Oh, I accidentally clipped jump. Oh, well, that's probably more fun. Hmm. Somehow they landed safely on the other side. We did it. Irritating Ty got green fever. Shit. I came across a large herd of buffalo again. Pretty timely since we uh, have zero meat right now. I could definitely benefit from getting a few of those. That is really nice to see. Although, oh, that's the wrong gun. Son of a bitch. They got bored of all the repetitive buffalo encounters, so they sped up. Oh, fuck. We've only had the two. I'm still new. I'm not I'm not ready for this. Ah. Way too fast. Oh shit. Some angry buffalo charged the wagon. That's not good either. I'm I'm assuming we're going to be able to recharge our HP at the end of this. Although unfortunately, it just healed the dude whose HP was going to regenerate. Irritating Ty recovered from green fever. There we go, right on cue. All right. I came across a fur trader. Probably don't have nearly enough fur for this. Supplies in exchange for hides. Can heal one for 23. I feel like I need a gun. Yeah, let's do that. Of all the recreational buffalo shootings, started a, a fire. Oh, shit. Careful. Easy does it. Some of the buffalo caught on fire. Man, they are fast. Can you kill the fire? I don't think so. I think you just shoot right into it. Oh my god, come on. Oh my god. The magic wand seemed to be running low on magic. Well, good thing we're not using it. A wagon axle broke and the wagon was stuck. This is going poorly. Irritating Ty left the wagon to walk to the nearest trading post miles away. Coyotes hounded him. I thought those were deer. Okay. I'm trying to be conservative with the ammo here. Oh, that'll work. Oh, damn it. It is a long journey indeed. Should stay closer to the right, I guess, so we can maybe get some of the stuff that spawns over here. If anything. Oh, there we go. Oh, fuck. Finally, Ty reached the trading post right after taking unnecessary damage. The replacement axle cost all of Ty's money, and he had to travel back. Well, I guess Ty's money is not a resource we need to worry about. That's good. We could have just been spending Ty's money on stuff instead of collecting furs this whole time? I didn't realize they accepted currency as well. After repairing the wagon, they traveled onward. The magic wand recharged. Yay. This one, too deep to ford. Let's go around this time. Through the desert path. If I can manage to click the right one. They made the probably wise decision to take the desert path around the river. They came across a gambling cowboy. Yeehaw! The cowboy bet them all of their animal hides that they couldn't kill 25 quails in 20 seconds. You're right. 
They refused. They couldn't risk losing all of their animal hides. I, I, I can't do that. And not with this gun. That's for fucking sure. I guess I could have tried. I, I did not believe in our chances. That was a, that was a cowardly pay, play, Bear. Come on. 18 hides. You can't gamble on that. And that is so frustrating. Give me the heals. I need a... You see this. You see how I'm performing. Don't taunt me with un, inaccessible healing. Or rather, healing that I was just slightly too late to get to. This is nice. I gotta keep this gun for sure. Afraid of running out of water, they traveled faster. Because why not? Holy shit. Stay ready. Stay vigilant. We're good, shit. Okay, okay. This gun's a little better anyway. I unlocked just desserts. Nice. Just deserts. That's how you read that. They noticed some kind of ancient ruin on the side of the trail and Jodan decided to investigate. It was very dark. Upon lighting a torch, she found it was filled with guns and ammunition yet again. How convenient. Jodan returned to the wagon with the arrows and entered a mountain pass. Food supplies were dwindling, so they hunted. Good timing. From the raving masses. Irritating boy, Ty. First time gifts from Ty. Thank you very, very much for that. Bear hugs for the brand new subs, please. Oh, God. I was not ready for that. A wolf devoured Ty immediately. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, fuck, dude. That went south so fast. I was looking over at chat, and before I knew it, you were in the mouth of the beast. My bad. The fur trader offered them supplies. Okay. I'm gonna need a heal probably here. I don't think I can. I need the gun, dude. Snowstorm began. The wolves were relentless even during the snor s the storm. Alternative title for a snowstorm. Uh, yep, yep, okay, there we go. Honestly, it's a good name. To the side of the trail, they saw a dark figure. Gira Link left the wagon to investigate. It was a lost traveler named Daniel. Are you sure? Are you sure that's your name? They were so excited, they accidentally drove off a cliff. Some eagles attacked. As they are wont to do. This doesn't seem too bad. Got a little worse. Back to the raft. All right, really gotta hope we find a good gun here. Time to avoid boulders again. Gonna try to conserve conserve the ammo, if at all possible. Ooh, that was close. A little closer to the... Ah, oh, a boulder knocked John and out of the wagon and she drowned. God damn it. God damn it. For some reason, there was a bunch of sharks in the river. Okay, that makes a little less sense. But I'll still allow it, I guess. Mostly because I don't have a choice. Oh, shit. Kira Link was knocked out of the wagon by a boulder and drowned. It's all down to Daniel. My main man, Daniel. Come on, buddy. Daniel noticed something on the horizon. It was a bandit on a raft. It seems the bandits had followed and set up an ambush. As he was waiting on the side of the road, were they waiting for him the whole time until he finally found somebody to take him along? This is terrifying. Ah, shit. Maybe we should go for the angle. There we go. Holy hell. No! A bullet killed Daniel when it struck the back of his head. That's impressive. That angle must have been difficult. 
Their journey ended there. All right. Pretty good attempt again. Almost getting through. Let's grab one more squad. Fresh pick me as well. Make sure the folks here are getting drawn. Pick me is open and ready. P-I-C-K-M-E in the chat. We'll draw three more names for our brand new squad. Jake Toady. Are you a fine gentleman? Or a fair lady? Yamau. Making the cut today and Nahilam will join us as well. Lovely lass. Can do. You're going to have blue hair. And then Yamau returns to the team. Fine gentleman. And Nahilam. You're going to have short black hair, Yamau. Nahilam. Should be your final member. Sorry, Nahilam. Added a second eye in there. I'll, I'll, I'll make an assumption. Add another fair lady. But green hair. What a team. Let's do it. No more fantasy this time. Let's try the wild. See how that goes. Yo, that's a little bit better. You can just start with this thing? I'm pretty sure this is going to go well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A little upgrade here. Oh, that's what's happening. The skunks create the little stink zone. Okay, I got to be careful with that. Posse of bandits interrupted the hunt. We're going to get the horse meat from that. That feels wrong. But I'll take it. Oh, geez. Yet another silly hit. There we go. Why no bandit meat? Yeah, better question. Yep. Nice. Oh, God. I got to be really careful here. A machine gun armed bandit wagon arrived. Wow, that was effective. Jake left the wagon to look for wild berries. Good stuff. On our way back to the wagon, Jake noticed an entrance to a cave and decided to investigate. Filled with guns and ammo, right? 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 Giant spiders. All right. Less good. Jake ran from the cave back to the wagon. They sat around the campfire and told embarrassing stories from their childhood. Come on, then. In their entirety, in chat right now, they reached a river crossing. Jake Toady had the brilliant idea to jump. Alternatively, they could ford it. Let's, let's ford it for once. This one time at band camp. Thank you. Boulders in the river. Ready to go. There were a lot of boulders in the river. I think I just glitched through one of those. That'll work. There was a pirate ship blocking their progress. Pardon me? Now it's gone. Finally, they reached the other side. Wait for the boulders. God damn you. There we go. They entered into the Great Plains. I want my falcon back, dude. Buffalo time with the falcon. Hell yeah. Oh my god. That is awesome. Ooh, that's probably going to be a little better, though. That unnecessary. Angry buffalo. I got the answer to that. Oh, I got to time that. Like, if I can time that just so. Or I could just blow them all up. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Fur trader. Just in time. Oh, I have one short of the ideal amount, though. 49 ammo hides to replace their trained falcon with a bunch of ninja stars? No, thank you. I decided to save my animal hides. Oh, another falcon. Found a falcon with our falcon. Oh, shit. I was going to say, hopefully that doesn't hit me there. Free heals. Sick. Getting all kinds of furs here. After recovering from its injuries, the falcon was a useful hunting partner. It sure is. We've discovered this. 
fancy. And new. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Impressed by its abilities, they decided to take a second falcon along. Jake decided to look for a flower for Nahilam. She'd grown fond of Nahilam during their travels. Aw. Jake brought the flower back and gave it to Nahilam. It was destroyed by the falcon's claws. Oh, I love you too. Aw, oh, amorous. The two went into the wagon to relax. Uh-huh. Okay. Later, Jake needed to relieve herself, so she left the wagon again. It was a zombie. Do we get zombie meat? No? That's a bummer. We do get that, though. That's convenient. Boy, that falcon is amazing. Seems the disease has also spread to the animals. Oh, no. Ain't no meat from that either, huh? All right, so long as we get all the turkeys first, we'll be fine. I'm a little worried about the amount of bodies in this space. Kind of distracting. Oh, there we go. We're good. Pain on the plane. Nice. Jake couldn't believe what had happened or that she had survived. And they're back to the river. Let's swim again. That was fun. Although we could probably get a lot more meat from the desert path. No, we get meat from the fish too, right? I'm pretty sure. Let's find out. The falcon got angry at Nahilam and refused to fly straight. Good thing we have a shotgun. Yeah, we get that piranha meat. Delicious piranha meat. Do, 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 do. Honestly, the angled falcon isn't even that bad. It's pretty good. And poisonous jellyfish. Oh boy. Yeah, I really hope we find another fur trader. Oh, that didn't even deal damage. We can just kill it. This is OP right now. So let's ruin it. There we go. They landed on a small island to catch their breath. Jake Toady noticed some very large eggs sitting on the beach, and she fancied an omelet for breakfast. Sure, surely this could not go wrong in any way. Unfortunately, the pterodactyls that laid the eggs were proportionally large. But the falcon doesn't give a shit. Falcon gonna eat them up. Yum, yum. Ooh, thanks to the HP, too. Seen the island had an isolated ecosystem in which dinosaurs never went extinct. Cool. Oh, God, those guys hurt. Okay, don't kill me. Jake thought it best to leave the island, and they continued swimming to the shore of the river. Nice. Hell yeah. They entered the mountain pass. Falcon's still sick. Oh, there we go. Never mind. We're fine. Food supplies were dwindling, so they hunted. That's a straight-up lie, but I'll, I'll allow it. We are well-fed right now. Nice. This is the most furs I think I've ever had. Some of the la llamas spat at the wagon. Very rude. Extremely rude. Oh my god, that's not good. Holy shit! The llama stopped spitting when the wolves arrived. <laughs> that's poetic. Jake died in a wolf attack. I'm sorry, Jake. You just kept getting hit. Every single thing that hit us hit you. There was nothing I could do, dude. Oh god. Oh, I'm getting real sloppy here. They came across the fur trader! Ah, just in time for Jake to die. Jake to die, remember? Uh, an easier to maneuver wagon for 110 animal hides. Nice. Yeah, that is a lot better. Thank you. Snowstorm began. The wolves were relentless even during the storm. All right, shorter hawk hits. That's the way to go. Also, this is good. To the side of the trail, they saw the dark figure again. Ooh, yay! 
replacement. It was a lost traveler named Frank. Good to have you, Frank. I like your mustache. Back off the cliff. All right. The wagon passed through a flock of crows. Can I just, like, kill them all? No, apparently not. Okay. This is several different flocks of crows. To be more accurate. Replaced so soon, I know we've, how quickly we forget. Back to the raft. Boulder time. Much better off now. Easy does it. We're good, we're good. Eh, I think I'll pass on that. This gun's good for the boulder section. For some reason, there were a bunch of... Sh oh, sh I was going to say snakes this time. No, sharks. Okay. Gotta try to stay in the middle if possible. Hang on to these last few bullets. He says, immediately firing them. There we go. I noticed something on the horizon. There was a bandit on a raft. It seems the bandits that followed and set up an ambush. I'm ready. I am ready. Oh, yeah. This is a much better situation. Much better. Even better now. Awesome. Got him. Got him. Ah, yeah. I can really avoid that. Oh, well. Dude, this is a really good. This gun, pretty good too, though. I think this homes in, I want to say. Even if not. The bandits had stolen some kind of riverboat. Go, Falcon. Go, Falcon. Falcon hit it multiple times. Holy shit. Following the attack, the river became calm. They reached the coast, and Frank left the wagon to admire the sunset. Yay! <laughs> That's pretty fucked up, Frank. The Pelicans are just trying to enjoy the sunset, too. Soon there would be more wagons heading down the trail. We win! Woohoo! We did it! Ah, yeah! Nice. I love that voice. That's so good. Congratulations! Congratulations. All right! That was a real fun return to Super Wagon Adventure. Super amazing wagon adventure, I should say. That's still a pretty damn fun game.